Today is another day to be thankful for. Another chance to appreciate the value of being healthy and alive. Another chance to learn how lifestyle can positively impact our health outcome and quality of life. Welcome to another episode of Quality Life, Your Choice. What a blessed morning to all of us. We are happy that we are back once again in our program, Quality Life, your choice. And it is your choice that you came here and join us and allows us to be part of your day. As of course, we will be talking important topic today, mga kapaglaum, with our guest all throughout the month. And I will be introducing him later, mga kapaglaum. But before anything else, I would like again to welcome sa inyong atanan, kundi iman ka mga bayan sa aton kalibutan. We praise the Lord for your presence. So if you are able, you can comment your greetings or you can comment your reflections about the topic that we will be discussing today with our guest. And of course, mga kapaglaom, amun gid ginakalipay nga you are here every Tuesday. We are live, mga kapaglaom. And as we go on with our topic, I'd like to invite you for a quick prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the privilege to be able to come here together as a family. We praise and thank you that we may be able to learn and study this important thing that we have that we should have every day. So we pray to God, ngay ka magabulig sa amon, kay ka magasen sa imo balang espiritu to teach us and to open our minds for this truth. Thank you for everything. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So mga kapaglaom, once again, we praise God for your presence here. And we have a beautiful I mean, mayroon kita mga kapaglam nga bago nga segment sa ito nga Quality Life, Your Choice. And it is, the title of our, of our, of this segment is Tasty Life. Tasty Bites, Tasty Bites for a Healthy Life. I don't know if I made it right mga kapaglam, but that is our new program, new segment that is with Kapaglaom Noeliza Banier, uh, Noeliza Binyas, and of course Kapaglaom Tita Eden Magkanam, who will be joining us and teaching us today on about juicing, mga Kapaglaom. And we hope that you will learn about this and we will be able to, to learn and apply this as it is related to our main discussion today. So here is our Tasty Life. Hello mga kapaglaom, you are watching Tasty Life, Tasty Bites for a Healthy Life. I am your kapaglaom net and joining with me is kapaglaom Eden Magkanam. Kamusta ka tita? Maayo good, kag excited good ako sa pag-share sa buong sang akon nga experience nga natunan sa ginoo. Amen. So, we are also excited sang aton nga himuon subong. So, before sina, Mangayok kita danay sang guidance sa Ginoo. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we ask for your guidance and we thank you for this opportunity nga maka-share kami sang imo nga maayong uh, message through health. Buligi kami Ginoo kagabay nga may ma-learn kami subong. Thank you that you will hear this prayer in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So, mga kapaglaom, are you excited sa aton nga healthy juicing subong? So, Tita Eden will share sa aton no kung ano ang aton ma-benefit sa sininga juice and what do we have for today, Tita? Okay, sa subong, magahimo kita sang 
green juice. Wow, okay. green juice green mga juice. kapaglaom. Mm -hmm. Kung ilan nakita, kung inyo makita mga kapaglaom, ari ang aton ng mga ingredient. So, may ari kita nga malunggay and celery. Then, may ari man kita nga kulitis. Kulitis or spinach. Then, dahon sili. Dahon sang sili. Dahon kamuti nga pula. Dahon kamuti nga pula. Kag, ini? Ini ang cardamom seed. Nga kung may ara ikaw acid, maka-regulate sa inyo nga acid. Mm -hmm. Kag, ang last? Kangkong. O, oh, hindi pa ni Gali ang last. Mm -hmm. Kaya may ari pa kita dari nga. Ara sa jar. Buko. Wow. Water. Buko. Okay. Water. So, so, Tita Eden, ano ang mabenefita sa amo sini nga juice? Mm. Ini nga mga dahon, makita lang sa atong market. Especially kung mahilig ikaw man na noom, mm -hmm. no? Aral yung dapat sa atong nga, atong nga backyard. Ito, oh. Okay. Ini sila nag-produce ng chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, amo ini ang ilang nga blood. So, kung kaunong tani, Kinanglanis ng aton lawas ang chlorophyll para nga mag-improve pagid ang circulation sa aton nga blood. Wow! So, dako okay. ginigali ang mabulig mm. niya, tita, para mm. sa aton ikaayong panglawas. Mm. So, kung makita na aton mga kapaglaom, hindi ni siya mahal nga juice, mm. nga pag-juice. Mm. Kayman, ang aton nga mga ingredients, makita lang sa palibot. Or kung kumpleto ang aton nga tanom sa palibot, Yes, Libre lang okay. gilin eh. So, yes. why not we start na tita sa aton nga juicing? Ano ang aton okay. unahon sa aton nga juicer? So, ang aton na naiunahon, magasukso kita sa aton nga protection mm -hmm. para nga matinlo ang aton nga pag-ubra sa aton nga juice. Okay. Yes. So, so ako ang ma-assist sa imo. Ano ang, ang unahon? Ang unahon taanay ang, ang seeds. No? Okay. Uh, ano yun siya? Budlay. Okay. So, so Tita Eden, di ini siya ginabakal or pwede mabakal ang cardamom seed. Kaya daw, amulang niya ang doon, hindi tama kita sa palibot na ito. Mm, so, sa ini... market, may okay, arain na siya. Market. Especially uh, sa ano giguro, sa may Indian store. Mm, okay. So, take note mga kapaglaong, kung gusto nyo sa mga lain-lain nga seeds, kad mm. lang kamo sa Indian store. Ang aton nga green juice subong, every ano ni siya ganit kita, pwede mainom? Uh, kung gusto nyo maging healthy, Pwede nyo ni siya imnon three times a day or gusto nyo lang once a day to demand. Mm. Pero kung gusto nyo gin mag-healthy, so mas nami kung i-three times a day, kagami siya imnon nga one hour before sang aton nga meal, mm -hmm. kay imagine yung mga kauturan, uh, uh, 30 minutes sa tinloan na inyo dugo, after one hour, pagkaon nyo sang healthy nga mga food, Makauturan, tinlo na inyo dugo. Pero, no, ang inyo nga ginakaon, ma-absorb nyo gid sa inyo nga lawas. So, so tanan nga nutrients, masulod gid sa uh, aton nga lawas. Wow, ha? kanami. Galit tita, no? Yes. So, nga aman nga, may gapamangkot na abit tita nga, kung pwede taman lang makaon nga kinahanglan ta pa ijo. Oh, so amo na gali no ang nami nga pamangkutan mo oh, nabiya gid ako sa. Laban amo na nga pamangkot. Nga ang nga imnon nga pwede man kan on. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. So kay mga katura may kada isa may ara man sila nga purpose no amo na gani ang bako kagina. Okay nga 30 minutes tinloan niya nang inyo dugo. Kung mag -a, kung kan unta ang mga pulp no. Uh, maano pa siya maagi sa sa digestion. So, nagaano siya? Nagahelp nga ma-absorb ta ang aton nga mga healthy nga ginakaon. Ang juicing makahelp man sa mga masakiton. No? O kung wala na sila ga nga magkaon, mm -hmm. diba? Kung hindi na na matulong mm -hmm. nila ginakaon. So, maayogid nga yes. juice ang ilang nga ipainom sa ila. Oo. Oh, oh. So, amo ni siya ang benefit sa using sa atong nga lawas. Matinlo ang imo nga dugo, ang circulation nami. So, perfect circulation equals perfect health. Wow! Take so, note mga kapaglaong, hmm. perfect circulation is equal to perfect, perfect health. health. So, kung kamo dira gusto man mag-try sa amo ni nga juicing, pwede gid ninyo makita ninyo ang recipe sa atong uh -huh. nga. Uh, May arap pagigunit nga ihambal. Uh -huh. Nga akin ang lata siya sang 
butangas ang buko. Okay. Kaya kung butter lang mga kabianan, di ba? Kalaw ay. Kag, okay. Nga, apagid, may pinaka, ano pagid niya ang buko juice. Mayara siya nga natural nga electrolyte. Yeah. Natural dextrose. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so sabo, Ari, nakita na ito, no, mm -hmm. nga, gamay lang ang aton nga nahimo nga juice. Para ma, ano pagid, matinluan pagid, no, ang makuha pagid ang Ari, di nga nabilin, di rin nga juice. So, ibutan Para sa mga top nila. Oo. Uh -huh. So, so gamay lang. Oo, gamay lang. Matamat lang, matamat lang. Okay. okay. Na, sige pa. Kaya dumayara ko siya. Gamay lang, hina. Up, tama na. So, mga kapag lang, kung inyo nakita, mm. ang aton nga juicer is slow juicer. juicer. So, mga kapag laom, ari na ang aton nga juice. I-strain ta na ni siya para nga mag-ano, gid? Nga mag-tubig, gid siya. Nga wala siya sang bilin. Oh, nga pao. Okay, net. Balang mo, kung buta, kung... Uh, maghambal ka nga juice, wala na gina siya yes, ang pulp, no? Kahit kung may pulp siya, maagi pa sa digestion. So, ang imo na lang nga uh, uh, fiber nga makuha dira. Dira mo na siya makuha sa imo nga cooked food, no? So, so tagsa-tagsa, may ara siya nga uh, ubra sa aton nga lawa. So, ang juice, amuna sa ang matinlo. Ang sa aton nga dugo, kag ang uh, fiber, amuna siya matinlo sa aton nga stomach. Sa amun ni Aton Obrahon, para nga manami ang aton nga pag... Ah, dira na ito, so, ibubo ang aton nga, buko, mm -hmm. So, i ano ta niyo kami, Ari, pani? Para masipot. Oo, oo para masipot okay. dira ang mga nutrients pag ikaga, ano. So, okay, dira lang. Baga. So, kung nakita nyo mga kapaglaom, no? Ini siya buko juice, nga ibutang na ito dira, para nga mag... Damo sila, kag hindi ito masamsaman ang ano hmm. na gani, ang pagka... Ang kapait, kapait ang kalangto. No? Mm -hmm. So, amo to ang nagbulig man ang cardamom seeds para nga mangin menti ang iya nga uh, sabor. So, doon wow. hindi kita balang magkasubo mga kabyanan nga nagainom kita. No, kaya ga-affect man na sa lawas ta, nga kung gainom ta nga kuriit, mm -hmm. hindi man manami ang ano sang uh, aton nga enzyme, no? So, so, dapat kaya kung ginainom, gin happy ka yes, man. Yes, no? amo gin na happy. Kaya hambal gani, di ba, sa, sa Bible nga nagha siling uh, a merry heart, do it good like a mm. medicine. So, mas mayo, gin so, gihapon. Eh, hindi lang naman. healthy ang aton nga ginakaon, kundi ang aton nga nagipusoon, mm. healthy man. So, another buko juice. Wow! So, mga kapaglaom si Tita Eden, malawig na nga tinion nga nagaubra sang healthy juice. Kag siya man nagabulig sa aton nga mga mga kaabyanan nga may problema no sa ilang uh, ikaayong lawas. So, usually si Tita Eden nagaubra siya sang mga healthy juices para sa ila nga makabulig, madasig nga makarecover sa ilang nga mga condition. So, ari na mga kapaglaom, nakaubra na kita sang pila ni 2 liters of juice. So, kung nakita nyo, ready na ini siya nga. Ready na ni nga imnon, tita? Yes! So, ari na, mga kapaglaom, ang manugtilaw sang aton nga green juice. So, kung makita nyo sila, tatlogin sila, kabilog. Kag-ready na sila nga i-judge ang aton nga. Yes! <laughs> okay, so, okay. mga kapaglaong, sige. Ano na, kuha na. So, mag-inom ka mo ganit sa juice, kinangla ni siya, usangon. Full pack siya sa nutrients, so kinangla sa usangon. Or mumog, oh. para mag-mix ang aton nga laway. Or para nga maging powerful siya nga. Medicine sa atang lawas. Nan. Wow. Matilaw ang nutrients. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat kaya sa inyo mga kapaglaom sa inyong mga pagtilaw kag. I hope no nga nag-enjoy ka mo sa atang nga green leafy juice. So, mga kapaglaom, until next time, upod naman kita sa aton nga 
healthy juicing with Tita Eden magkanam. Diri lang sa Tasty Life. A tasty bite for a healthy life. Thank you so much kapag laong Net and kapag laong Tita Eden. It is really helpful for me mga kapag laong as first hand po na nakainom ng ng juice na na, na prepare nila it it is actually helpful in my part mga kapaglaom and very easy to do lang mga kapaglaom so if you're able to do it today or if you're able to do it for the next days of course send us the video help us to know that you're doing it and we will be airing this in our quality life your choice in the segment Tasty life. Once again, mga kapaglam, I hope that this is helpful and time has come for us to, to learn, mga kapaglam, sang aton nga gina, gina learn every every time we have our guest, Dr. Glenn Maipa. Of course, you know him. Mga kapaglam, he is our retired health director coming from Central Philippine Union Conference and he will be with us today to help us discuss because we his in his topic in his series we are talking about the celebration and we talked about choices we talked about exercise if wala ninyo siya na nalantaw you can you can search in our fb account western hope channel western visayas or in our youtube hope channel western visayas for about the series of choices and about the series of exercise with dr glenn maipa because this week, we will continue. We are in celebration. We are on letter letter L na mga kapaglam. Time flies so fast. And we will give the time to Dr. Glenn Maipa. Hello, Doc. Thank you for joining us today. And he will be talking about liquid. What is the role of liquid in each of our lives? Dr. Glenn, ihatag naman ang tinion sa imo. And may we all learn from this mga kapaglam. Welcome back to Quality Life, Your Choice. Our topic for the healthy lifestyle discussion for today is on liquids or water. I'm sure that many of us are refreshed by a cool drink on a hot summer day or by a cool shower or a dip in the ocean or when we munch on these uh, very delicious watermelons, peaches, and other fruit or vegetables that contain a lot of water. So, our topic for this morning tells us that next to air, water is the most vital element of survival. Now, we know since uh, we have been uh, taught through uh, science and through school and other lectures that the whole body of man, an adult, contains 70% water and an infant is 75% water. Our brain is 85%. Even the hard bone marrow contains 20 to 25% water. Now, as we continue with our topic uh, today to our dear listeners and viewers, we find that water is considered the liquid of life. Now, when we consider water, because actually uh, we find today a lot of uh, what we call beverages, okay? And in some uh, journals, water is considered a beverage. Now, what are beverages, okay? They could include alcoholic and alcoholic beverages, drinks, and other potable liquids intended for what? For human consumption. Now let's look at the list here, which includes beer, wine, soft drinks, fruit juices, milk, liquid dietary supplements, packaged or bottled water. Now, here in front of you, we have here uh, a couple of juices and uh, bottled water. Now, uh, water is considered a beverage according to many writers because it is drunk it is considered a beverage or a necessity a necessity which we could uh, say without it we could not 
life could not go on. Some beverages, however, cause you to be thirstier. Now, I read a blog, and the blog says reasons why water is not considered a beverage. Okay, number one listed here is uh, water is not listed in the dictionary as a beverage. Beverage is a potable liquid other than water. So that's the first reason here is water is not listed in the dictionary as a beverage. Number two, it is a necessity. When you drink water, it's more of a necessity than a relaxing, refreshing, and tasteful drink. Number three, water is found in fruits and veggies. Water is naturally occurring in many fruits and vegetables, like cucumber, it's 95% water. Peaches, 85%. Number four, water is used for cleaning. Now the question here is, do you use soda or fruit juices to clean your clothes or to take a bath? Of course you don't. So since water is used for other purposes, like cleaning, it isn't considered a traditional beverage. And... Number five here, water is used for fun. Now we take a dip in the pool or swim in the sea. Even the Federal Drug Administration does not classify water as food. Now let's go back later to some of the uh, beverages that we will be discussing as part of our topic for this morning. Now, looking at water called the liquid of life. Now, it is a transport system within the body. That means to say the food that we eat, the water that uh, we take in, transports the food that we eat or digested in the small intestine throughout the body. And this also includes the blood circulating through the body. It is a lubricant for the movement of our many muscles, joints, and ligaments. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it facilitates digestion. Now, water also transports waste through the kidneys. It regulates our temperature and is a major constituent of the circulating blood. So let's ask ourselves the question, so where does water come from? Of course, two-thirds is from the ingested liquid. Now, in, our, in uh, many... Uh, journals I read, they say that the normal amount of water every day should be eight glasses, but there is no basis for that. So we will not be discussing that. However, liquid comes from two-thirds, comes from what we drink, the other third from our food, and a small amount of liquid synthesized during food metabolism. Now let's look at the balance of uh, fluids in our bodies. How do we lose water? Of course, from our skin, from the sweat, from our lungs, the feces, the urine. The total of this is 2,300 ml for, a, uh, for activity that is normal. But if you go sports like biking, hiking, basketball, and any strenuous sports, you lose at least 6,600 milliliters ml a day. So, how do you replace that? You have to replace it and even what? And even add more. So, the question is, what if your fluid intake is inadequate? Now, you will notice that your urine output decreases and your sweat also decreases. And what happens if you didn't replace it? Dehydration could occur. Now, we will not be discussing dehydration, but maybe just a few of the symptoms. Now, another thing, if water intake is inadequate, the body temperature rises, and there is an inefficient clearance of body waste. What more? The blood thickens, and the flow is impaired. And then there is a risk of intravascular clotting. That means to say, the blood may clot in certain areas of our veins or our arteries or the organs in the body. What more? Insufficient fluid intake could lead to dehydration, which could also cause constipation. Now, we know that constipation 
is very uh, is a significant factor in many other diseases. So one way for us to eliminate our waste in the early morning is to drink adequate amounts of water upon waking up. What more? Insufficient water intake could cause dizziness or headache. It could also increase the risk of developing kidney and gallstones. Now, according to the Journal of the American Medical Association, let me read, it is, it is estimated that adequate hydration of older people could save thousands of days of hospitalization and millions of dollars each year. Now, this is very significant. So let's look at a practical guide to water intake. Now, it says here, consume sufficient amounts of water. What, what time? Throughout the day. That means to say, uh, we have to, when we go to the restroom to pee or to urinate, let's look at the uh, color of the, of the urine that we have. It's, if it's pale yellow or clear, it is uh, very important that we have to notice the color of your urine, especially if you are taking some medication, okay? like uh, multivitamins. So, when is the best time to drink water? Now remember that sometimes we have to, to say, oh, I forgot to drink water this morning and this afternoon. I'll drink water more in the evening. And then you keep on getting up sometimes in the middle of the night to go to the restroom to relieve yourself. Now, according to our study this morning, it says here, begin drinking water in the early morning. Why? Because there is a state of dehydration when we go to sleep. I mean, when we sleep, we have not been taking any liquid. So there is a temporary state of dehydration. It could also be loss of water when we sweat while we are sleeping. So when we wake up in the morning, as much as possible or or think of uh, taking a couple of glasses of clear water, even just room temperature. Many times uh, we find ourselves uh, lazy, or I mean, we just don't mind it. But in a journal I read that uh, most of heart attacks usually occur in the morning. So one way to prevent this, these heart attacks is to drink a couple of glasses every morning. Okay, now here, water as a cleaning agent. Now, of course, we have to take a bath. Regular bathing removes accumulated dirt. And if you remember during the past few years, we had a COVID problem. And we are always reminded to what? To wash our hands. Not only before eating, but to wash it frequently. Now, we know that... Uh, the hands are dirty, we touch anything at any time, and then without any uh, much more thinking, we touch food and put it in our, in our, uh, in our mouths. And then we, we also find ourselves uh, having a lot of handshakes or body contact with other people. So it's very important that we what? That we have frequent hand washing. Especially to our kids. When, when mom says, time for lunch or dinner, oh, just rushing to the table without washing the hands. So, very, very important. Now, water could also heal. Now, probably you've heard the word about hydrotherapy. Now, hydrotherapy is the use of water as a simple home therapeutic application. It is best applied for simple muscular aches, pains, and bruises. Now, for example, if you have a fever, now in order for that fever to go down, drinking water, having a sponge bath, or a uh, cold mitten uh, friction rub could what? Could improve the temperature. Now, with muscular aches, the application of hot, wet, 
and cold ones and end with a cold application will improve the blood flow. Now, if you have a contusion or uh, you had uh, wealth in your body because as a result of bumping for the first 24 hours, in order to prevent the maximum inflammation, you have to use cold or probably put uh, ice over the affected area. So with bruises, cold compresses are more appropriate. Okay. Now, we have to remember that you cannot just apply hydrotherapy without examining the skin of the patient. So be sure that the skin is not diseased. Another reminder, when blood flow becomes impaired or there is neurological damage resulting in the inability of the patient to feel heat, hot applications may lead to serious injuries, especially for patients who have diabetes. Now, here uh, we have several modes of hydrotherapy. We have the cold mitten friction with the hot foot baths, the heat compresses, and the ice compresses. I wish we could have some practical uh, demonstrations of this probably later. Okay, so looking at, uh, at cold applications like the ice bag, I think it's very important for us uh, parents to have an ice bag in our home because if we have some contusions or bruises or even dislocations before we bring them to the physician, we could apply an ice bag, okay? And also for those who, for example, a man injured his elbow during a badminton game, okay? So, put ice to reduce the hematoma and also the internal bleeding, okay? Now, according to Ellen White, in the Ministry of Healing, the external application of water is one of the easiest and the most satisfactory ways of regulating the circulation of blood. But many have never learned by experience the beneficial effects of the proper use of water. All should become intelligent in its simple use in simple home treatments. According to Ellen White, the Ministry of Healing, page 237. <clears throat> now, looking at our environment, which is our next topic for the next session. Concern for Earth's inhabitants. Now, how do we avoid wasting water? How do we avoid wasting water? Now, we also have what? To avoid polluting water. Now, we find today a lot of water pollution. And we find today too that there's a lot of concern about Pure potable water. Uh, I think I read in a geographic magazine that, for example, uh, the illustration of clean water on Earth today is just like, say you have, you have a one gallon of water, okay? And two teaspoons of that represents the remaining potable water on Earth. Now, everywhere we find we go, we find pollution. But then, in order for us to, to be able to conserve water, a suggestion here is to eat a vegetarian diet. Why? Because less water is used for uh, watering plants than for feeding cattle. Growing grain, growing soybeans and peanuts requires a lot, amount, a lot of amount of water. But because we grow them, why? Because they are supposed to be fed to cattle. And then, instead of eating the, the vegetables directly, we don't, we let, we let, I mean, we let the, the animal eat it. And then, we eat the animal. Now that this, uh, the continuation of this topic actually will be for the nutrition part. But becoming a vegetarian will save a lot of potable water for our earth. So, when we talk about the water of life, there is a spiritual implication here. We're in uh, many thousand years ago, Christ offered 
water, which means the water of life. Now, in the spiritual implication, it says here that Jesus told the woman, the Samaritan woman, whoever drinks of this water from the well will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. Well, but before we come to the conclusion of our study this uh, today, let's uh, go back to this uh, to the topic on water and some of the implications in our world today. Wherever we go today, we find a lot of advertisements and promotions on the different kinds of beverages. Now, uh, let me take a few minutes to look over this. Now, we have here the sugar sweetened beverages or SSBS. No? The three capitals SSB and the small letter S. Okay? Sugar sweetened beverages from the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. Now, according to this study, sugar drinks are the leading sources of added sugars. Frequently drinking sugar-sweetened beverages is associated with weight gain, obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, non-alcoholic liver disease, tooth decay and cavities, and also gout, a type of arthritis. Now, what are the examples of SSB, or sugar-sweetened beverages? Now, we're familiar with regular soda, with fruit drinks, sports drinks, energy drinks, sweetened waters, coffee, and tea beverages. So these are the different types of sugar-sweetened beverages. Now, I didn't mean to say that we have to avoid drinking this because many times we are guests at parties, maybe on a wedding reception, or we are guests in a friend's house. And many times they serve the fizzy drinks. When we say fizzy drinks, these are soft drinks because of the carbonated water. Now, I should say that uh, if we are tempted to drink, probably just drink maybe a sip or a fourth of a glass or something. Just enough for us probably to not to put the host in embarrassment. Now, there, are, there is no uh, real guideline on soft drinks, how much is it take a day. But we find here that today, soft drinks has, and other drinks has overtaken water as the number one beverage. In fact, I read an article that the best, uh, I mean, uh, the best tasting beverage is not water. Of course, I agree to that. A lot of people don't like the taste of water. But the point is, these drinks that taste good, when they, arrive, when they reach the stomach, it has a different effect aside from water. Now, the surprise thing that we have to... to uh, Consider this up this morning, I mean, is how are we able to improve water drinking and decrease the use of sugar sweetened beverages? Now, again, because that our topic is, I mean, our program is quality life, your choice. Now, it depends on how you choose it. Me, whenever I travel, wherever I go, I bring two to three bottles of water. So I won't be tempted to buy any soft drinks or any sweetened drinks and anything that, you know, fizzles. Uh, if we go deeper into soft drinks, we find that not only for sugar, but there are other, other, other things in soft drinks that also could cause dependence. Okay? Now the second one here is alcohol. Now we find today alcohol is very popular. But let's look at uh, the comment from The Lancet, one of the 
more world's most prestigious or leading journals on health. They say there is no safe level of alcohol consumption. So before, uh, they were promoting drink moderately. Now, how do you know if a drink is moderate or excessive or just enough? Now again, since there is no safe level of alcohol, let's look at this. We have short-term effects like lowered inhibitions and not so pleasant wine headache. We have the hangover. We have a feeling of relaxation, a sense of euphoria or giddiness. There is a change in mood. An impulsive behavior, our speech becomes slurred or slowed down. Or it could be the opposite. We become talkative. We become aggressive. There's nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, head pain. There are changes in hearing and vision, loss of coordination, and loss of consciousness. Now we have the long-term effects. Our immune system becomes weak. We could acquire what we call pancreatitis or the inflammation of the pancreas, and also liver cancer, liver cirrhosis. It could have changes in the frontal lobe of the brain. Now, remember, the frontal lobe of the brain is for reasoning, for judgment, for decision-making. Now, we believe that our decision-making should not be hampered by any other substances. That's why when we continue Drinking alcohol, according to the Centers for Disease Control, there is permanent brain damage. What more? There is a disorder that affects the memory called the Wernick-Korsakoff syndrome. We could also have the uh, problem of malnutrition. Why? Because a lot of alcoholics neglect to eat normal food, or I should say uh, nutritious food. They just depend on the drink. And so a lot of alcoholics become malnourished. But more, it could also cause a heart attack, a stroke, heart failure, and high blood pressure. Now for pregnant women, be very careful because if you drink, we have this what we call the fetal alcohol syndrome. Where children born of uh, drinking mothers have abnormalities. That's another topic. Anyway, drinking any amount of alcohol can potentially lead to unwanted health consequences. It could also have a negative impact on brain health. Now, as we uh, come to the conclusion of our study, now we find that today, uh, wherever we go, drinks are everywhere. Why? It's very easy. Uh, you don't need teeth in order to drink. You just slurp it. It just goes inside your stomach. Okay? So it's, drinks are so popular. Wherever we go, we find them. And uh, it's so tempting, especially when we're thirsty and uh, we are tired. We would like to have a cold drink. And many times you would like to reach out for a sugary drink or a drink that contains uh, a lot of sugar or fruit juices with also a lot of sugar. Probably if we would like to, to slake our thirst, it is very important for us to think that uh, the beverage that we're taking in could either be for our health or for our sickness because we know today I, I think i remember some years ago there was a debate in congress here in the philippine congress that soft drinks should be taxed like alcohol or even the price to be increased so that people will not will be deterred from buying soft drinks or this uh, sugar sweetened beverages however again let me go back to our uh, the title of our program 
that anything in this world that we acquire, that we do, anything that we put into our bodies, or anything that we do with our bodies, depends on our choices. Now, nobody could force us to drink water. Neither could nobody force us to drink alcohol or sugar-sweetened beverages. It is us. It is us who, who will be reaching out to either a cake or a banana or a glass of water or a glass of soft drinks. So again, the argument boils to ourselves. Nobody could make us healthier than ourselves. So as we continue to study about the healthy lifestyle and this very simple uh, things that we are studying, like water. Now, according to chemists, water is two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. But if we look deeper into water, water is actually life because the plants need water, the animals need water, we need water. Now, an amazing God who created water is so efficient in this beverage, if we consider it a beverage, that it provides life for the birds, for the insects, for the animals, for humans, for plants, for trees, for almost everybody in the planet, including fishes. So now here, we find that uh, if we equate ourselves to the other created beings, we are more intelligent than them. Of course. However, the intelligence that we have should be coupled with common sense. So, um, in effect, as we come to the end of our discussion, again, let's go back to that uh, water of life that our Lord is offering to us. It may not be acceptable to you now, that probably, probably later on. Okay. With the last few uh, minutes left, there are some questions here that I would like to uh, ask you. You may answer this in your own private time. So, how much water does my body lose daily? Okay. So, you have to determine that based on your activity. Second, how much water or liquid are you taking every day? The third one, what is the color of my urine every day based on my water intake? And if you are not having enough intake, maybe you should ask yourself the question, what can I do to increase my intake of fluids? So. Another question is, do I need to fill a water bottle each morning? Of course, you have. Because you're supposed to count the number of uh, uh, ml that you're supposed to take in. And again, another uh, hint here. Do not wait until you're thirsty to drink water. When you drink water that you're thirsty, actually you have already a partial dehydration, which is not good. And according to studies, when the body is dehydrated, it seeps water from the brain. The easiest liquid that the water that a dehydrated body could, could acquire is from the brain. So that probably is the result why we have headaches, we feel dizzy, or we feel disconsolate, or we feel tired. Because when we are dehydrated, the body, the body's automatic response is to remove fluids from the brain. So, again, would you schedule to drink at specific times a day, which is really very important? Okay. So, not do not 
uh, do not forget the uh, do not forget the the schedule. I mean, if you have a schedule for eating, have also a schedule for what? For drinking. And another very important factor. How much percentage is your liquid? How much water are you taking each day? I mean fresh water. Because many times we could be drinking a lot of coffee or soya or juice. But our water intake is very low. So we have to increase our percentage of water intake. Now, if we are also taking some medications, we have to increase our water intake because some medications uh, cause dehydration. Well, until the next uh, topic, to all our viewers, thank you very much for viewing or listening. And uh, I hope that water, the liquid of life, becomes central in our healthy lifestyle. Not only water inside, but also water outside. And not only the water outside, but also the living water, which when we accept the living water, we will never become thirsty, either physically, mentally, spiritually. This water of life is offered to us free by our Creator. Let's take advantage of this free offer. What a help indeed! It is for me, mga kapaglao, magkinahanglan gid naton ang tubig, no? Even if kauno naton, ibno naton, mga kapaglao, it is really helpful. Especially, I don't know, if na-feel ninyo nga, subong okay-okay lang kayo dili sa ililo, maula, no? Ito hindi ta ka-feel gawa nga ginadehydrate kita, mga kapaglao. Pero kung tama na gid ka init, we really need water. Yes, we really need water. So, yes, in... We are here, mga kapaglaom, to be able to guide each and every one for a quality life because after all, it is your choice. Once again, Dr. Glenn, my pa, thank you so much for, for discussing this, for giving us important information. And we hope and pray, mga kapaglaom, that we will apply what we have learned today. And we will go back next Tuesday to learn again another part of our series with Dr. Glenn Maipa. So mga kapaglam, hindi gid kita magkalipat to always, to always remind ourselves that every Tuesday we are live in Quality Life, your choice. Again mga kapaglam, we thank you so much for joining us and we hope that you have enjoyed our today's discussion about the juices and about the liquid that we have discussed with Dr. Glenn Maipa. We hope to catch you again next time, mga kapaglaom. And always remember that a healthy lifestyle is the cheapest way to provide yourself the best medical health care. Consider taking baby steps towards a healthy behavior change because having a disease can lead to crisis or potential disaster. See you all to the next episode of Quality Life, Your Choice.